up and coming musicians just keep getting younger and younger. We will show you this hot viral hit from a very young musician coming up. It's Tuesday, it's May 5th, and this is The Current's Music News. Hey, it's Jade. And Jay. Dave Greenfield, who's a keyboardist for British rock band The Stranglers, has died at age 71 due to COVID-19. Stranglers drummer Jet Black said, we've just lost a dear friend and music genius, and so has the whole world. The Stranglers came up in the punk era, but their roots were in prog and experimental rock. Greenfield said his early influences included The Doors, Deep Purple, and Yes. Greenfield's keyboards were an important part of the band's sound. He co-wrote the band's best-known songs, including Golden Brown and Peaches. The Stranglers are one of those bands that never quite crossed over to the U.S. They never had any big hits here, but they had a cult audience among music heads here. And over in the U.K., they had seven top ten hits. Speaking of some of those older albums, are you going back and listening to some of those classic albums, kind of reaching into the back of the closet for that cozy, moth-eating eaten sweater of an album? Uh, maybe that's why Fleetwood Mac is back up in the charts. Uh, according to the Rolling Stones album chart, they are at number 59, beating out new albums from pop stars. Yes, Fleetwood Mac's rumors Great album, classic album, uh, not an obscure album by any means, but it's 43 years old. So why is it up there at the top of the charts again? A lot of people are thinking this is because people are reaching for those comforting older albums. Uh, we're seeing a rise in listening to not just Fleetwood Mac, but The Eagles, Rolling Stones, Queen, all of those albums are seeing a resurgence. And yes, maybe it is because of that old comfort factor, but it's also because of those rabid fan bases that when they see an album getting released on iTunes, those fans jump at it. And no one is better at having that rabid fan base than Mariah Carey in her little lambs. Uh, they did this back when Glitter came out. Movie, not great at all. Album, better. Uh, so they made it rise to number one with just that rabid fan base, and they just did that again with 2008 album for Mariah Carey, E equals MC squared. Two years after they made their public debut as a couple by stepping out at the Met Gala, acclaimed singer-songwriter-producer Grimes and tech titan Elon Musk have welcomed their first child. Congratulations to Grimes and Elon Musk on the birth of a healthy baby boy born on Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. According to a tweet from his father, the baby is named XIA12 Musk. That might be a joke. That might be totally serious. Elon Musk shared a photo of the baby with Post Malone style facial tats, but those tattoos were gone by the time the baby was photographed with his dad, who was of course wearing an Occupy Mars t-shirt. So do you have a couple extra thousand laying around? Maybe you're a big music memorabilia fan. Uh, well, coming up uh, next month, there's going to be this big music memorabilia auction. And one of the big things that I'm excited about in it is one of Prince's iconic cloud guitars. I don't have enough money to go in and pick it up, but maybe you do. Uh, they're guessing that it's going to go between $100,000 and $200,000 and something else that's going to be a hot ticket item. That is Paul McCartney's handwritten lyrics for uh, the Abbey Road song, Maxwell's Silver Hammer. They think this one is going to go for a pretty huge amount because uh, his last handwritten song, Hey Jude, which is, let's be honest, a better song, a bigger song, uh, that one went for almost a million dollars. So they know that there is a pretty hot market for this Beatles memorabilia, and this one's probably going to be going pretty big, probably bigger than that guitar from Prince. And a couple of years ago, the current's Andrea Swenson actually met up with the maker of Prince's iconic guitar, Dave Roussan, and he showed her everything that went into making the instrument. The Prince uh, Cloud guitar is very, very rugged and on purpose because in the movie it was a prop, but it probably even more so because in concert, 
he was hard on his stuff. He would throw them at the ends of the shows. Guitars to him, they were a tool. That's today's music news. We'll be back, so like and follow us. You can be sure to catch the next update. And you can listen to The Current on your radio, on your smart speaker, on our app, on our web stream. We're counting down 893 songs that bring us together, so it's a pretty fun playlist these days. Click in the comments and let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. So it's only just May. It's a little early to be picking the song of the summer, but based on Twitter buzz, I think it might just be this 20 second ditty by A Kid in Pajamas. This is the daughter of a dad and a mom who are in the band Killola, and the mom, Lisa Rifle, wrote on Twitter, quote, my kid wrote a song called, I wonder what's inside your butthole. Quite honestly, she continued, it slaps. Twitter agrees. The video already has several million views, and I am one million percent certain we are going to be seeing some quarantine covers of this instant classic. I wonder what's inside your butthole. Maybe there's astronauts, maybe there's aliens. All 